Hey everybody, welcome back. We have a cool, cool pen, super lightweight from our friends over at Bastion. Now this one's the G10 bolt action pen. Lightest pen they've ever made. It's under an ounce and it's closer to half an ounce than an ounce, but we're gonna check this out. Now, overall, there's a link down in the description. Go check that out. Also, any time of day, any time of the year, you can get 20% off all your items. Use the code ZSTUFF20. It'll be down in the description. Pens, pencils, watches, jewelry, all the stuff. Now, in this one, they do include the felt pen cover. I had a little problem with mine because I pushed hard and it did make a little tiny hole when I did the original unboxing. Those of you that joined me for the live unboxing of this, thank you so much. But this one comes in as a freebie. Um, some of the other freebies that come with this one, uh, one replacement ink cartridge, um, a productivity and mini handwriting course, and then of course, the beautiful, beautiful G10 pen. And you have the one refill in here, but they did send me out a blue ink refill. So we're gonna swap that out here in a minute. Um, this is a really cool felt one. It's good to just throw it in there, especially if you have like the titanium one. Um, they also have aluminum. They also have stainless steel. They have carbon fiber and stainless steel. Like I said, this one's all G10. They have a shipwreck copper. They have titanium. They have regular. Now this is their bolt action. Um, there's a couple things I found. The bolt action is very snappy, as you can hear and see. So it returns to place really, really quickly. That's all G10. Uh, one of the things we did talk about during the original opening of this was the G10 clip. Now, so far, I've carried this in one of my EDC pouches. It's super lightweight, super lightweight. So the, the lightest pen that they've ever made, 0.65 of an ounce. Um, yeah, and it's got just enough of a little bit of texture, more almost like dimpling, because it's still smooth if you don't put any pressure on it, but you put a little bit of pressure and it kind of goes in there. It's really gonna be hard to show, but you can see it right there. Some of that uh, the milling pattern from when they created this. Now I'm gonna unscrew this. we we'll see what it comes with. Of course, obviously the spring. This one's a, a Bastion branded ink cartridge for it. So we're gonna show you how this one writes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the blue one in there because I love the blue ink, but I've, you know, held true, held true. And you can hear the gritty, little bit of gritty because it's G10 against G10. Um, the only thing that, you know, for aesthetics, you're gonna see this point right here, but you could swap it out to the titanium. You could buy a titanium tip. That might look kind of cool as well, but everything's G10 in here. So it makes it super lightweight. So let's go ahead and get our little notepad out here. And this is our tops little notepad. We take all our notes on. Now, this one has a length, an overall length of 5.25 inches. So that writes pretty good. Let me hold it up there. You can see the different angles. It's got a good, I took most of the wax off that I could off there. I think there's a little tiny piece on the side. There we go. And the width circumference of this one is, um, you know, less than half an inch. So I think we're at 0.47 of an inch for the width on this one. And to me, it's a good width for grip, for riding with. Some of the other ones are a little too thin. Some are a little too thick. I will have a comparison here in just a minute of one of my favorite zebra pens, as well as my favorite Sharpie, and just kind of show you a comparison with these. Um, one of the other ones is, this is a fine point, which I'm a fan of the five, fine point. You can put some others in there. Overall, like I said, there's a link below. Go check the link, go look at the website. They're doing a lot of holiday sales as well, but if they're not doing a sale or the sale passed, you can get 20% off anything in the store using the code ZSTUFF20. And also use that link to get there because it just shows them that you went there. But the link, and the, or I mean that code, goes right to you. 20% off your whole order. That's awesome. Now, uh, full retail on this G10 one um, is going to be, let's see here. 
is going to be, I think, 125. One of the sales they had it up for is under 100 bucks. So really good for what you're getting. Um, and like I said, you can go ahead and deploy this back just by a flip. And then you can push it out. Kind of a good thing. Some other people were asking if it would be on this side, maybe for some left handeds. Um, lefties, easy to operate as well. The spring puts it right back into play. So let's go ahead, let's swap this cartridge out for the blue one. And overall, I think the biggest thing that we're gonna we're gonna look at is going to be the comparisons. And that'll be coming up here in just a second. They do send you out a nice little plastic envelope that has the uh, extra cartridge in it. So let's see on these. Okay, yeah, it's the same. So this one, bash and branded as well. It does come with a little bit of that wax on the tip, so we will take that off. Just using the fingernails. It's almost like a, a rubbery material. Probably just machine dipped in everything, but you know, enough to get the ink on the fingernails and the fingers, so it's good. You know, we'll take that off later, put this in. I'm excited to see how this works. And one of the things I also want to test is how the ink handles right away. Because sometimes when I'm writing, I get a little sloppy. Sometimes all of a sudden I'm like, hey, my hand goes across the page. Handles just the same. You can be quiet with it or you can make some noise. Retract that out. It's pretty good. Okay, so this is the, we got a little bit left on there. Let's just make our hand really messy. There's probably a really good way to do that, like using a Kleenex or something, but. Uh, so let's see, this is the blue ink refill. And then let's see here. Let's give you a little show of how that looks. I like that, I like the way that works. Um, overall, like I said, can we write something else out on here? I like the way that writes. I really like it. It's like I said, a good feel in the hand. And then of course the 20% off code all day, every day, unless they have a better sale going on is Z stuff 20. <laughs> so we got that on there. So that's pretty cool. I like the blue. The black does write pretty well. Overall, it doesn't look like it smears. We just wrote that. We got nothing on the thumbs. So that's pretty cool. It doesn't smear. Um, it's super lightweight, so it's gonna fit inside your pouch, your bag, anywhere you're gonna carry it. I like the, the lightweight factor. So let's do a couple comparisons. Uh, we're gonna compare it to my favorite Sharpie. Just so you can see size-wise what you're getting out of it. So pretty comparable overall. You know, you're looking at, you know, diameter and width pretty close to the Sharpie, the same. So at least you kind of know what you're getting into. Size-wise, it's not gonna be as thin. Uh, let's show you one of my favorite Zebras. This one doesn't write as well. So let me show you the comparison, this uh, F402, uh, I think it is. Is it F402? It's all like totally rubbed off. The marking did. But this is a Zebra F402. I guess I've used it way too much. But this is the Zebra F402. It's really hard to find in the uh, blue ink. But this is a, uh, a fine point. I think it might even be the ultra fine. Works really good. You're filling out carbon copy things, but you can see the difference in the ink. This is this blue and this black much more bold than this zebra ink refill. So let's do a comparison of this one. Let's show you on here what they look like next to each other. Just so you can kind of see. Most of these pens, this one, let's even it up. 
It's going to be a little bit shorter, has a top button. Um, overall, you're going to get that same thickness out of the grip. It's got a little rubber grip down here. But you can see the difference right there. Obviously, you can see the thickness a little bit thinner on the Zebra. And then I have one other one, which is one of my newer favorites as well, which is the Sharpie S-Gel. I just want to compare these. I like the G10. I like the light lightweight feel. Pretty comparable to that one. Let's do this one. This is the Sharpie S-Gel. And you can see the difference. So the S-Gel is nice. It's a little thicker when the ink comes out. It doesn't run. It doesn't smudge, which is, you know, what they're talking about. But it, it kind of runs together. So if you write a little sloppy, it, it kind of runs together. Probably the worst comparison anyone's ever done on this, but I'm not a I'm not much of a you know a pen connoisseur. I just use what I like when I find it. But here's a look, tip to tip, tail to tail. This one's going to be a little bit longer. They're going to be about the same weight, um, but overall, this one's going to be a lot sturdier. It's also going to be one that honestly, as G10, if you're writing. And let's say all of a sudden something goes down, you can pop this in and this is a good pressure point impact. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyways, those other ones, they're going to break a lot easier. Um, but huge shout out to Bastion for doing this and creating the 20% off code for those of you who are going to purchase something from them. Please check them out. I like them. I really like this G10 version. That's why I wanted to check it out. And they did send it out to me, but it has been very useful. I do like the blue ink refill better than the black. So I'm probably going to order some more blue ink refills and keep this one in my everyday bag, my everyday carry bag. So I hope you found it informative. If you have any questions, leave a like and a comment below. I will see you, of course, on the next video. But most importantly, remember... Hashtag DSKFS, do something kind for someone, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.